72-year-old Beijing resident Jia Qiufang bought her sewing machine in the 1930s. It helped her save money on clothing for her four children. In the early years of communist rule in China, a sewing machine was one of the so-called big items that indicated a high living standard. These iconic household goods have changed over the years, from wristwatches, radios and bicycles, to refrigerators and televisions. Jia says these items are now commonplace. Just about every home has a phone, a television, a fridge and a washing machine. Before the 80s, these were much rarer. Today, one of the items on the wish list is a car. Jia's son, Chi Yong Li, just bought his third. It's hard to think what today's four big items are. I think it's just a house and a car. In 1992, there were about one million privately owned cars in China. Now there are about 41 million. Another big item today is a house. Beijing homes are expensive. An average family would need 27 times its yearly income to purchase a typical house. Yet Yang Shuai, manager of a Beijing real estate office, says home ownership is on the rise. Right now, more people are buying houses than renting. Families need to be residents to send their kids to school. Before housing reforms in 1985, only 17 percent of city homes were privately owned. Now estimates put urban home ownership at 80 percent or higher. Consumers also want computers and cell phones, but in cities, these are no longer status symbols. Gao Wenjuan has been selling computers for five years. Computers and cell phones are already very common household items, like a television. In the cities, homes often have at least two computers. With consumers increasingly able to purchase the big items, their aspirations turn to more intangible things. Li Gang says travel is becoming important. I think having a visa to go abroad could count as a big item. Jia says the big item she wants future generations to have is education. My three grandkids are all in college. I think when they have children, the next generation will be even better. Jia says there is nothing left she wants to buy, but she supports anyone in her family's desire to study. Allison Clayman for VOA News, Beijing.